Welcome to Delta Wings Aviation Academy, where we prepare you for takeoff. Hello, pilots. Welcome to Delta Wing Aviation Academy, where we prepare you for takeoff. Today, we will be discussing what is aspect ratio. Fasten your seat belts as we prepare for takeoff and get a bird's eye view of the details from the sky. This rectangular wing of an aeroplane has an aspect ratio as well. It's defined as the wingspan divided by its cord. If the wing has a 20 meter wingspan and a one meter cord, the aspect ratio is 20. This is an example of a high aspect ratio wing. A wing that has a 10 meter wingspan and a two meter cord has an aspect ratio of five. This is an example of a low aspect ratio wing. You can also calculate the aspect ratio by this formula, the square root of wingspan divided by the wing area. As you can see, the solution is also five. Please note that the wing area in this formula is not the upper and lower surface area of the wing. The value for the wing area is the area of its shape as viewed from above. This version of the formula is particularly useful when calculating the aspect ratio of a wing that is not rectangular, such as this swept back airliner wing. By and large, high aspect ratio wings generate less induced drag, have a higher lift to drag ratio and make airplanes more stable in flight. Low aspect ratio wings allow airplanes to be more maneuverable, reduce the adverse yaw effect, and are easier to design and build.